Hello, Stony Brook students. We are back with the lesson. So this is my computer, and I have the application called GarageBand up on my screen. So if you do have a Mac at home and you've ever seen this icon, the little guitar with the amplifier, that's GarageBand. And what GarageBand does is it allows you to put songs together using different sounds including drums, pianos, guitars, and you can also use real instruments and put them into a digital format, which means you can you know, make them computer data. So let me show you a little bit about how this works. You need a computer, okay? You need a keyboard. This is called a controller, okay? So there aren't a whole lot of sounds on this, this is just to control what is happening on the screen over there. You need speakers. Okay, so your computer comes with speakers. That's my special dog. I'm a chocolate lab person. So there's one of my chocolate labs and there's another one of my chocolate labs and he's sitting on the interface. So the interface is where I can plug a microphone in. You can see I have a microphone plugged in there. I can also plug in a guitar if I wanna play from a guitar and there's a volume button on there. And this is a small interface. They make much bigger ones. All right, so let's go back to the computer. And I have a song up here that I did about a year or two ago. I actually used this song at a Stony Brook concert. And when, I'm, when I do these songs, I'm able to put them onto my phone if, if I so choose. And I can play them from my phone or from an email or something like that. Okay, so I'm going to get a little bit closer. I apologize for the shaky camera, I'm holding it. So if I put it on the stand, I'm not gonna be able to zoom in. So I'm gonna go all the way to the top here. And do you see all these words? These are all my sounds that I picked out for this song. So over here, it says FM piano. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually click on that and I'm gonna click on the sound and automatically I see that, <clears throat> that the music is highlighted. Now there's not actual music notes, it's computerized data, all right? I'm gonna show you what the sound sounds like. So I'm gonna actually go down to my keyboard right here and I'm gonna play. It's a very nice sound, okay? And that's how I play it. And when I play that, I can record, if you look up here, there's a little, I'm gonna get my mouse there, there's a little button there that I can record whatever I want on there. So you can see that I have recorded something on there. I'm gonna come back to that in a minute because I wanna show you a different sound. Let's go to this one. This is a grand piano. A Steinway is a kind of grand piano. They're actually a very, very good brand of piano. And let's see what the Steinway sounds like. Okay, and that's what my piano sounds like. I'm trying to find my pedal down here so I can sustain it. That means it holds, see? Isn't that a nice sound? Okay, there are other sounds. I have a bass sound. Now this is gonna be a very techno kind of sound. Let's see what this sounds like. All right, I'm gonna go down to the keyboard and it's a bass sound, so I'm gonna play at the lower end. Hear it? And I have all kinds of bass sounds. I have a marimba, I'm not gonna show you every single sound, but I'll show you a couple of them. The marimba, okay, sounds kind of like a xylophone. It's in the same family, it's a little different. How about, I bet you know this song. Okay, that's our marimba. And we even have, ooh, this is, I have to show you this sound. This is really, really neat. This is, kind of airy sounding. Very nice. And we have a lot of sounds at 
doesn't sound like that. And then I just wanted to kind of show you the drums down on the bottom. I put all the drums on the bottom here. So let's see if I can find it. This one, okay, would be a drum. And I'm gonna turn this up a little bit, okay? Uh, why am I not getting drums? Oh, I know why, because we have to hit that instead. Okay, there we go. So now when it lights up green, I know it's ready to go. And I'm actually playing that on the keyboard. There's different drums on different keys. Okay, and they have different drum sounds that you can get on the uh, keyboard. So all of these sounds are called tracks. So that that's a track, that's a track, that's a track, that's a track. So I have a lot of tracks. And the ones that are in blue, where you see the little blue part, there it says verse two, verse two, bridge, bridge. Those are actually vocal tracks and that's where the singer would sing. So um, I had a girl that I taught last year, I taught her um, vocals singing lessons after school and she would come here and we did a couple things in the studio and she sang different parts of this particular song. So like when she sang the chorus, I put it there. She sang verse two, I put it there. We kind of broke it up. So that way, if we needed to fix anything, we could just take little bits and pieces at a time. Okay, so you don't have to record like the whole vocals. All right, let me show you something else. Let's go back up to the top. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to, well, let me just make sure I shut everything else off. Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave that drum on, and I'm actually going to play it. Let's see if I can go. Sorry about the camera. I'm going to go to the beginning, which is right, right here. We're at the beginning, and I'm just going to play it. Here we go. See those little lines? That's the hi-hat, the little tick that you hear. Tick, 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 okay? So I had to play that. I played that on the keyboard. Probably something like this. Only I used this. Okay? And I played that for a very, very, very long time. Now, little trick is you don't really have to play it through the whole song. You can play a little bit and then you can kind of duplicate it if it's the same thing. Okay, you can repeat it. All right, so let's see if we can add a bass drum to that. Let's go down here. And I'm gonna click on the little headphones because that now that'll make that light up green. I'm gonna go back to the beginning. And, oh, very important. I know you know what a metronome is, but just in case you don't, there's a little picture of a metronome. See that white triangle? And a metronome is a device that musicians use, especially when they're beginning out, to help them keep a steady beat because it's very important that you stay on the beat, because if you don't stay on the beat, then you can't line up all of your musical tracks and it becomes very difficult. So I'm gonna put the metronome on. Let me, let me just highlight that, okay? And go back to the beginning. And now you're gonna hear the two drums. There's our metronome. Okay? And that lines up with the metronome. I'm gonna take the metronome off because we don't need that. We don't need that anymore, okay? And there we go. All right, so now we just have the drums, but we have a whole lot of tracks. So let's see if we can go back up to the top and maybe we can add some musical tracks, okay? So let's see, let's try this bass. Let's see if you could figure out what song this is from the bass. Some of you might know already. Okay, all right, let me just get my hands out of the way there. Okay, and here we go, let's see what happens. You can see the yellow line when it hits. Ooh, there's our bass. It's kind of like when Mr. Tedesco plays the bass guitar in band. Only this is digital, this is electronic. So I never really played the bass guitar, let me stop it, okay? What I did was I, that sound that you hear, I picked it and then <clears throat> I played it on here. 
Well, it would help if I actually turned the sound on. So I gotta click on there. Okay, now it's green. And now I can go down here. See? Okay, sorry, I don't mean to make you dizzy jumping around. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna slowly add tracks by turning them on. When I hit that yellow, right? Oops, when I hit that yellow headphones, it turns the track on for me. Right now, all the other tracks are muted. And as I turn them on, they'll go from gray to green, okay, which means they're on. The only tracks that I want to leave off are the vocal tracks because that's that was my student's voice and that, that's her her voice. We're going to keep that secret, okay? But the rest of the tracks, we'll, we will be able to play, okay? Um... All right, so let me go back up to here and uh, I'm gonna start it and then I'll start adding the tracks. And then maybe you can figure out what song this is, okay? Here we go. You might get it on this, this one. the space bar and that stops it in fact i'm gonna move that over because i keep hitting it with my coat so i don't want to i don't want to set it off okay so that's very very cool isn't it and you can take any sound they give you a bunch of sounds to pick from on the side and you can alter them or change them because they have these things called plugins where you can actually change the sound. So maybe you don't like the way the piano sounds and you wanna change it a little bit. You can do it with these buttons down here. It's almost like turning a knob, see? But you just turn it with your mouse and you can change things. Isn't that interesting? Okay, so that's how music is made. So that brings me to my next question. Okay, so um, if we go on Encore, I don't know if I left it open or not. Let me go back for a second. Oh, by the way, I was supposed to tell you what song that was. Are you ready for the reveal? Drum roll. It was Heroes. Heroes, the song Heroes. I did it a couple of years ago with the choir. Maybe it was like a year or two ago. Okay, so I'm going to actually, I'm going to go back to that because I don't have, do I have it? Let's see. No, I don't have it. I was going to look and see if On Course was there, but it's not. But anyway, when you go on On Course and you see the assignment, the question is going to be, when you listen to your music, 
Maybe there's a particular song that you like right now on the radio, okay? And you listen to your music. Do you think that the instruments that they're using are traditional instruments, such as like a guitar? So if you look over here in the corner, I have a real guitar. I have real drum, okay? Oops, out here. I don't know if you could see out in the other room, but I have a real drum set. I'm, I'm behind the glass, so it's hard to see. But do you think the instruments are real? Or do you think they are digital? Digital meaning kind of electronic on the, on the uh, computer, okay? Because all of these sounds on the computer, they're what we call sampled sounds, okay? But a lot of them are very close to the real sound of an instrument, okay? Like, for example, that piano is pretty incredible. And there are different pianos. If I click on that one more time, just so you can hear. I mean, if you closed your eyes and listened to this, okay, especially when I add, I'm gonna add a little more volume and I'm gonna add the uh, sustain pedal, which holds it down. Isn't that nice? It's really hard to tell sometimes if it's a digital instrument like this or if it's a real piano, which I have a real piano upstairs in my piano room. We call that the piano room. So listen to your favorite song. And then on Encores, there's a little box on the bottom. I wish I could bring you there now, but I don't have it set up right now. But when you go on Encores, underneath the assignment, there is a box. And you can write right in the box the answer to these questions. And the question is, when you listen to your favorite song, tell me the title of it. Okay, the name of my song is whatever it is. And I think they're using electronic drums or digital drums, which would be drums that you find here, okay? Or I think they're using real drums, okay? And then just tell me why. And don't worry if you're right or wrong, it's just an educated guess. And then what I might do is I might check into some of your recommendations, some of the songs that you gave me, and try to find out if they are using traditional instruments or electronic or digital instruments, okay? So that's the assignment for this week. And you can submit it right on Encourse because when you get down to the bottom of the screen and you put your information in that box, there will be a little blue button on the bottom. It'll be on the right hand uh, side and it'll say Mark Done. And when you hit that box, Mark Done, it sends your answer directly to me, okay? So that's about it. So if you have any questions or comments, need help, you can email me, you can send me a message on Encourse, and I will try to answer your questions. I hope you had fun with this assignment. I think this is so interesting, and I know a lot of people your age like video games, and a lot of those uh, video games have music that is composed or written digitally on the computer, okay? So uh, it's a very interesting tool. Okay, so again, hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.